my name is Toru Hayami. I'm just an ordinary thorough high school student. There is a little famous person in my class. Oh. It's Higurashi. Why is she so scratched up like that? Maybe she got into a fight with someone this morning? I can't believe it. <sighs> Her name is Makoto Higurashi. She's a Yankee who's known as the strongest in our school. There are all kinds of rumors flying around about how she crashed a motorcycle gang or by herself or how she never lost a fight. I don't even know which one is real. She's too scary. Let's just stay away from her. If you get too close to her, she'll beat you up. She's the strongest Yankee in our school. She's beautiful, but I don't want to get close to her. The strongest Yankee. Huh. Makoto, are you okay? Toru? Here, use this if you want. Thanks. Phew. You're still amazing. Why are you able to talk to her? Don't get carried away. You'll get your ass kicked. <laughs> no way. She's not a wounded beast. She must be a wounded beast. She's the strongest Yankee, you know. You're too kind. <laughs> well, I'll be careful. It's true, she might be the strongest. But not for fighting or anything, but for being cured. I'm home. Welcome back, Tony. Wah, Makoto, stop tuckering me. That's not a taco, that's a taco hug. It's the same, you're hurting me. No way, I'm taking it very easy on you. Can you please stop that affectionate? Uh, so I can't hug you anymore? I don't mean that, but... Nah, why not? Ow, ow, ow! Why is the strongest Yankee in the school giving me such affectionate treatment? Because actually, she is my fiance. We've been keeping this a secret from the school, but Makoto is my fiance. There's a good reason for that, of course. Our grandfathers were apparently best friends. They promised to get their children married if their children had different genders. But in our father's generation, both were girls. They couldn't get married, but our generation successfully produced a man and a woman. Thus, in order to fulfill the promise of our grandfathers, Makoto has become my fiancé. I've been playing with Makoto since I was a little, partly because we lived in the same neighborhood. From that time on, Makoto was an active girl, but I was attracted to her. I like her, she's straight and bright, like the sun. So I was happy to know I could marry Makoto in the future, but I didn't know how Makoto felt about me. So one day, I took a chance and asked her. Makoto, you don't mind? What do you mean? The I'm your fiancé. What are you talking about? I like you so much, Tore. I've always liked you for a long time. Oh, oh, yeah. Apparently, we've loved each other. Come to think of it, why were you all scratched up today? I saw a cute cat and I was chasing it and I fell. Cat? The cat was so cute! That doesn't mean you can't fall down. There was a stone. Did you stumble on that stone? Yeah! You're a screw up! <laughs> At least you should come to class after you change your clothes or something. Why? Makoto, do you know what our classmates say about you? Yeah, I know I'm the strongest Yankee in our school. It's so cool. You know, people are scared of Makoto, okay? Is there any problem? 
you're not going to make any friends. I don't care. I have Toru. As long as Toru is here, I don't need anything. Makoto. Besides, I don't need a friend right now. It's such a hustle to explain. Huh, you're... <laughs> yes, she's not a Yankee or anything. Sure, she's strong in a fight, but she doesn't initiate them. She just gets in a lot of trouble because she has a scary look in her eyes. But she can't be bothered to explain it. I think it's better to have friends besides me. Huh? Uh, hey, Makoto. Uh, uh, <sighs> Again. She has one troubling habit. Every night, she crawls into my bed like this. Hey, don't sleep here. Wake up. Uh, Wake up. Ah, <sighs> a girl of your age shouldn't come into a guy's room without permission. Oh, hey. Oh. oh, man. It can't be helped. This habit has been going on ever since Makoto and I started living together. I'm used to it, but as a man, I have to pull out with a lot. I want her to sleep alone someday, but no matter how many times I tell her, she won't go away. So I've given up on her lately. Hey, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard Higurashi destroyed another group of punks. And they were a very large group of people. But she crushed it all by herself. I can't believe it. Is that the day before yesterday? There was just helping a girl who was getting in a tangle with some delinquents. How could it turn into such a wrong rumor? Makoto doesn't seem to mind. <sighs> Unbeknownst to her, Makoto was becoming even more powerful. Hey, Makoto, are you sure about this? What? Are you sure you want to remain the strongest Yankee? It's okay. I'm not burdening anyone. I know, but... You're worried about me. I want you to make friends with people other than me. I told you, it's no problem for me as long as you stay close to me. Toru is my everything. I'm glad you said that, but... I know, I understand what Toru is trying to say. But, you know, it's too much hustle to deal with prejudice now. Makoto. Only Toru should know who I really am. That's what I said, but what should I do? I know I can't go on like this, but... You came again tonight! Makoto, are you going to sleep here again tonight? <sighs> oh, hey! I just want Makoto to have some friends. It's not good to be misunderstood. I love you, Tori. What are you dreaming about? Tori, I love you. Thanks, Makoto. I love you too. <laughs> I thought the day would continue to be peaceful, but one day... I knew I could count on Toru. Is that so? You're always helping me, right? We should help each other in times of need. Still, you know, you're a lot more popular than you think. Really? I've never had anyone confess to me. Ah. Uh, that's because, you see, you're getting along with Higurashi-san. Huh? What do you mean? There is a rumor going around Higurashi-san would be upset if someone messed with Toru. That's why girls don't confess to you even if they're in love with you. Huh, I see. What's wrong? No, I just felt like I was being watched. That's a bit self-conscious. Oh, wait, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm home. Huh? Makoto, what are you doing standing there like that? You know what, Tolu? Huh? Tolu, you know, do you mind 
If I'm around you? What's wrong with you all of a sudden? From today on, I'm leaving to the... What? And so Makoto began to avoid me all the time. Of course, the daily routine of her clawing into my bed was also gone. I wondered what had happened to her. A month had passed without me being able to figure it out. She escapes so fast. We are living together, but I can't even see her. I don't know what's going on, but I can't go on like this. Okay, this is the last resort. I have to do it. Uh, I'm trying to abort him myself, but I don't have enough to worry. Toru, Toru, Toru! Let's go to bed as soon as possible tonight, too. Huh? Is there something in my bed? Toru? What are you doing here? You can't run away if you're in bed, right? Mom! Don't run away! Let go of me! Let me go! I'm not letting you go! I mean, why are you running away? Because Tolu doesn't need me! Huh? What makes you think that? Because if I'm around, girls won't confess to you, right? What? Because of me, Toru can't get along with other girls. So I decided it was best to stay away from Tolu. Ah, <sighs> you know, the most important thing to me is you, Makoto. Even if the rest of our classmates can't talk to me, that's okay. It's worse for me to be avoided by you. It's really hard to be avoided by someone I love. Sorry. Don't abort me. I just need you to be around me. So, can I stop aborting you? Stop it. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry for aborting you. That's okay. From now on, if you feel uneasy about anything, you can talk to me. I will. And so the differences between Makoto and I were successfully resolved. But the misunderstanding about Makoto is still unresolved. I'm still afraid of her. She has a scary look in her eyes. <sighs> hey, Makoto. What? I like you. <laughs> what? Or all of a sudden? I just wanted to tell my fiancé how I feel. You idiot! Don't talk so loud. What? Fiancé? What does he mean? Uh... Hey, you guys. There is no way this cute girl is the strongest Yankee. Hey, Toru. I'm embarrassed. Oh, no. higurashi sa You're so pretty. I'm sorry I misunderstood you. Please tell me more about your relationship with Toru. Well, that's... Uh, Toru? Ha ha ha. This was the beginning of a new relationship between Makoto and the rest of the class. It's easy to clear up misunderstandings when our classmates can see how cute Makoto is. Nowadays, no one calls Makoto the strongest Yankee, but the prettiest girl in the school. I'm going to cherish such a lovely fiancé more than anyone or anything else in my life.